it's me, your boy. But before this video starts, have you subscribed? Did you know 63% of people who watch my content are not subscribed? Could you do a freaking smash of the subscribe button? Without further ado, we have a video to watch today. Yes, we are roasting a video, not a deck profile, and check it out right here. Joshua Taylor has sent us in this uh, nifty little vid. We're going to give it a watch right now together. Let's go. This is in the uh, Dark Magician. It's the wording of the card. So my roommate is saying that when I activate Dragoon's effect, or sorry, Anaconda's effect, and it says you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. No, when, I use, when I use Anaconda's effect to pay 2,000 life points to send Red Eyes Fusion to the graveyard, <laughs> that I am, I am not allowed to summon Dragoon <laughs> with that paying 2,000 life points and saying Red Eyes Fusion because it says for the rest, uh, you can't special some monsters for the rest of the turn. Then tell me how we're able to bring out Dragoon on turn one and able to play it in tournaments. It, before, if it says when the effect is activated, you cannot special summon after that turn. It, I'm not wrong. That is word for word what it says. Guys, please tell me that this guy's just this guy. sore of losing. <laughs> I'm not sort of losing. I all right, that's an incredible video. Okay, so according to your mate, Joshua, your good old roommate, he thinks that we summon Anaconda by linking away two monsters just to activate an effect that costs 2,000 life points and sends Red Eyes Fusion from deck to grave. <laughs> Here we are on the official Yu-Gi-Oh card database. With Anaconda's effect, let's read it together as a two effect. You can target one face-up monster on the field. For cost, notice the semicolon. Semicolon means you target the monster for cost. After that, your opponent can respond to your targeting. Next thing that happens is if your opponent doesn't chain anything, great, Anaconda's effect resolves. And that monster becomes dark. Cool. Effect one, out of the way. Effect number two. Now listen, Joshua's roommate. I understand that this card's wording is a little tricky, but you need to understand this card's been out for over a year. And everyone's already had their moment of not understanding this card. They've all had their moment of thinking they can still Ash Blossom it. They've all had their moment of thinking that negating it still means that you're locked out of special summons. So look, I can understand your confusion. Let's read this effect together as a class once again. You can pay. 2,000 life points, pretty hefty cost, and send one fusion or polymerization normal or quick play spell from your deck to the graveyard. And look what's there again, a semicolon. What does a semicolon mean again? Oh, it means it's cost. So at this point, I would do all of this before asking my opponent to respond. That means I would deduct 2,000. I would send a card from deck to grave. And then I would ask my opponent, do you have a response to me sending Red Eyes Fusion? That is all what happens as the very first effect. Before anything else happens, I pay cost. Everything before the semicolon is cost, and you must do it first. At that point, I ask my opponent, are you going to respond to Anaconda? If they say no, this is how I will resolve the effect. The very next thing after the semicolon will occur, because that's how you read a sentence, right? If my opponent chooses to not respond, I will go back to the semicolon and read everything after it. This effect becomes that spell's effect. What that means is it copies Red Eyes Fusion on resolution. So before any of that, Anaconda's effect is to copy a fusion spell. It actually hasn't copied it yet. That's the reason it can't be Ash Blossom. You send the Red Eyes Fusion from deck to grave for cost. It's similar to how Magician Souls cannot be asked, except... Red Eyes Fusion can be ashed, and here we are mimicking a card that can be ashed. But we don't mimic it till resolution. This is very similar to Numeron Network sending Numeron Calling from the deck. That effect cannot be ashed. You send it for cost, and then it mimics Numeron Calling on resolution. So you're not actually locked into any of the restrictions if it gets negated. Much like this. If Anaconda gets Ghost Ogred, the effect will still resolve because monsters don't need to be on the field to resolve their effects. However, Numeron Network in this comparison, if it gets Ghost Ogre, it will not resolve because it's a field spell. It needs to be face up to resolve on the field like a continuous spell. You are still not locked out of special summons in that Numeron comparison. If you don't know Numeron Calling, will lock you into one more summon after you summon out all the Numerons. Anyway, we got a bit off topic there. 
coming back to Red Eye's fusion being sent off Anaconda. Anaconda has been agreed to be resolved. Your opponent has nothing to chain in response. This effect becomes that spell's effect when that card is activated. So when Red Eye's fusion is activated, you just get to summon Dragoon by sending Dark Magician and Red Eyes. And then you're locked out of normal summoning, out of special summoning. All you can do is set. Those restrictions aren't actually applied. The only restriction you have to play around is Anaconda's restriction, which is going to be the next part of this card, which is an also effect. Now, if you don't realize, there's a comma here, which means you pause, you take a breath, and you read the next line. And it's also with another comma. And an also in Yu-Gi-Oh! means you have to do the first bit before you can do the second bit, all right? Just so you know, that's how a sentence structure works. Look, I didn't pass standard English, and I'm guessing you didn't either. But that's okay, because we can read Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Also, comma. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. So this is the line that's confusing you. Well, here's the thing. What this actually means is after this effect resolves, you are unable to special summon for the rest of the turn. You can still normal summon. And mind you, if Anaconda gets negated, you can still special summon. Some people still don't know that. So I would understand if that was the confusing part. But no, you are confused by something beyond comprehension. You think that the player using this effect cannot even special summon in the same effect. My man, that is not how effects resolve in Yu-Gi-Oh. Some effects, yes, but an effect with a semicolon and then an also, no. Anything with a semicolon is cost. Everything before the semicolon is cost. Anything that says also, the also happens after it. Okay, it's still the one effect, but it happens after it. If you see an also in Yu-Gi-Oh, you should realize that it's going to happen after, you know? A has to happen for B to happen for C to happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! In some other card games like T Pokemon TCG and the Digimon TCG, you're allowed to activate cards just to do their second or third effect. In Yu-Gi-Oh! you are not. In Yu-Gi-Oh! you have to go A, B, C. In other card games, for example, there might be a card that says, hey, nuke your opponent's board, and then you can draw. And I know, for a fact, in those games, you could just play it when the board is clear, yeah, you're not nuking the board, but you can just do the draw cards part. In Yu-Gi-Oh, that's a big no-no. So, Joshua Taylor's roommate, I hope this reading of Anaconda helped you out. Uh, I'm not really sure why you think we would go through all these extra steps just to put Red Eyes Fusion in our graveyard for zero purpose. That's a bit of a uh, caveman maneuver from you. I know you're probably just trying to get a one-up on your mate because he's probably been schooling you all fucking day while you've been normal summoning Celtic Guardian passing. But hey, buddy, uh, you got to realize this isn't Duel Links and we're not summoning Red Eye Slash Dragon. Um, so yeah, maybe um, improve your list. Uh, get good. Investing in Forbidden Droplets or Dark Ruler no more. Or you know what? Just buy a fucking Kaiju, mate. They're about 30 cents. I'll give you a Gamma Seal for free in the mail if you need. Bonus part for the people who stuck around. You can only use each effect of Predator Plant Verte Anaconda once per turn. Now, what does this restriction mean? This means if the activation of Predator Plant Anaconda's effect gets negated, either of them, you are boned. Yes, you are screwed, sir. And what I mean by that is, if you activate the fusion effect of Anaconda and your opponent imperms you, it doesn't matter if you summon a new one. You cannot try to use it again. It says you can only use each effect of Verte Anaconda once per turn. It doesn't say you can only activate. All right, bonus one for the people who stuck around. You can only use each effect of Predator Plant Verte Anaconda once per turn. Now, what does this mean in terms of ruling? Well, it means if it gets negated and by act if Anaconda gets its activation negated by something such as Solemn Strike, can you actually make another Anaconda and use the effect? Well, the answer sadly is no. Because it says you can only use each effect of Predator Plant Verte Anaconda once per turn, you're actually locked out of trying to use it again because you've already used it. It didn't resolve, but you tried to use it. So the game recognizes that and says you cannot use it again. If Verte Anaconda said you can only activate each effect of Verte Anaconda once per turn, we would be able to make Anaconda, get hit with a Solemn Strike, link into another one, do it again. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but in another timeline, it could have been. So that's an important ruling to know with any card. Know whether it says you can only use each effect or you can only activate this card once. If you use Red Eyes Fusion and your opponent uses their Solemn Judgment, 
it's negated the activation of Red Eyes Fusion. And Red Eyes Fusion actually says it can only be activated once per turn, meaning you can play another one. Yes, another great reason to play three Red Eyes Fusion in a Loza video. <gasps> Thanks for joining me, guys, on the video roasting. And thank you, Joshua.